What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this Kurt Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2021 Honda Passport. Your Passport's a pretty versatile vehicle. It can handle some towing, especially the all-wheel drive version can handle towing. But if you don't want to use it for towing, you can also use your hitch to maybe get a cargo carrier or to get a bike rack to load up your bikes to go out with your family. Either way, the hitch is going to be a good option to add accessories to your Passport. If you look at the receiver opening, it's going to be two inch by two inches, so it's going to fit most standard accessories. And with those accessories, it's got a 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin hole here on the side. See, the pin goes right there. You put the clip on this side. And also here at the bottom, you got nice safety chain loop. So where you have the quick snap ones that go right on there, or a standard hook, both of them work just fine. Our hitch is going to have a gross tow weight rating of 5,000 pounds. Now that can go up to 6,000 pounds if you use it with weight distribution, and that's going to be pulling. So then it's also got a tongue weight of 750 pounds, and that's going to be how much pushes down on it. But also with both of these, make sure your passport can handle that. Check your owner's manual. Let's get some measurements really quick. So we're going to go from the ground, the top inside edge of our hitch, and that's going to be about 16 inches you're going to have there. So what that means is just when you're going to use a ball mount or something, you might need a slight rise to get a little more up off the ground. And then we're gonna go from the center of the hitch pin hole to the furthest out point on our bumper, which seems to be right here. That's gonna be right at four inches. So what that helps us figure out is if you do have any accessories that fold up towards the vehicle. So let's say you have a cargo carrier that folds up, make sure you have plenty of clearance from your bumper and that accessory. Overall, it's going to be a very helpful accessory to add to your vehicle, and it doesn't take that long to get installed. It was pretty easy, just a couple bolts. Check out how we did it. First step on our passport is coming up underneath here. We're going to locate the holes on each side we're going to use. Now they're going to be the same thing on both sides, so right now we're just going to focus on the passenger side. Here's the weld nuts that we're going to add our hardware to. So before we do that, I'm just going to clean them out with a little silicone and a brush just to make sure they're cleaned out. Just a little bit in there. Just make sure you get any of that dirt that could get up in there. This is pretty new right now, but down the line, there might be something in there. I'm gonna repeat that for all the holes on both sides. This is the hardware we're gonna use. We've got a cognitive tooth washer and bolt here. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and run it in by hand just to make sure everything's cleaned out. I'd rather figure that out now before when I got a hitch in my hand and I'm trying to do the hardware. Looks like we're good on that one. So I'm gonna back it out. Try this one too. Just make sure everything's fine before we go to throw that hitch up. Looks like we got no issues. It's threatened in there. So now we're ready to grab that hitch. Now with the extra set of hands, we're gonna go ahead and lift that hitch up and put the bolts in. So looks like we go up and behind the bumper to line up those holes. And then I'll get the bolt and get it started. Get as much as you can hand tied just to make sure it's okay. And then we'll add the other ones too. We'll come back with our impact and run our bolts down. And we're gonna do that for each one. Now we're ready to go ahead and torque down our bolts. So I'm gonna use my torque bar here and make sure you see your instruction, get the specified torque rating that it recommends. All right, looks like we're there. We're gonna repeat that for the rest of the bolts. Once all your bolts are torqued, you're done. You got your hitch on there and you're ready to get your accessories and hit the road. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped. 